In this video, we've curated the must-have Fallout 4 mods for November 2023, neatly categorized for your convenience. From gameplay tweaks, to quest fixes, stunning visuals, and stylish outfits, we've got it all covered. So, without further ado, let's dive right in. First up is the gameplay section, where we have some interesting mods. Let's start with Deadeye. Deadeye introduces a headshot mode, allowing you to choose various ways to take down enemies. What amazed me the most while testing this was the ability to decapitate or crush the heads of synths with shotguns. Additionally, you can obliterate the heads of humanoid enemies with a gauss rifle or use laser weapons to do the same to synths or super mutants. It's fascinating to see that with different weapons, the outcome varies. Heads shatter or remain intact. If you're looking to diversify and immerse yourself in headshots, give this mod a try. Next up is Fortunate Cap Stashes. This mod adds an element of luck to cap stashes, increasing the amount of caps you find. Instead of the usual 1423 caps, cap stashes will now contain anywhere from 42 to 87 caps. Additionally, if your luck stat is high, you stand a chance to receive even higher rewards. Next up is Respawning Fusion Core Generators. As the title suggests, this mod changes the behavior of fusion cores, allowing them to respawn in generators. This adds an incentive to revisit dungeons you've already explored for new challenges. Next, we have the Drivables of the Commonwealth Havoc Physics Truck. This mod adds drivable trucks controlled by Havoc Physics. You can also load objects or items into the rear cargo bed. While it's not a strict recommendation, it's worth noting that the release of a drivable vehicle mod in a Bethesda game, especially one without drivable vehicles by default, is quite noteworthy. Who knows, we might see even cooler vehicle designs based on this in the future. Next, I'd like to introduce you to the mod Modern Warfare 2019 SAS NVG for Tones NVG. This mod replaces the model of night vision goggles with the SAS NVG from the game Modern Warfare 2019. The creator of this mod not only changes the model of the night vision goggles, but also offers a few additional creations, one of which is the Modern Warfare 2019 overlay. The Modern Warfare 2019 overlay alters the visual effects that appear on the screen when using night vision goggles, shifting the original greenish tint to a more bluish hue. There's even a mod that adds sound effects. So, by using all three together, you can transform your night vision goggles to resemble something straight out of modern warfare. Next, let's talk about quest-related mods. While it might not strictly fall under the category of quests, there's one noteworthy mod I'd like to mention. Unique Scavs. This mod transforms the random scavengers you encounter in the early game into distinct factions. It adds unique characters, quests, items, and settlements to these scavengers. This mod enriches your Fallout 4 experience by empowering scavengers similar to gunners or raiders. Explore various dramatic scenarios, along with new scavenger-themed outfits, armor, and weapons, all complemented by numerous settlements. Enjoy the diversity this mod brings to your Fallout 4 journey. In this section, I'll introduce a few bug-fixing mods that you might find interesting. I've gathered some that you should definitely check out. First, let's talk about the Energy Weapon Calculation Fix. This mod addresses a bug where weapons with damage types like energy inflict significantly less damage compared to conventional weapons. The creator explains that this bug stems from the way resistance calculations use only base damage when computing. In any case, for players who primarily use energy weapons and have experienced this type of bug, this mod is essential. The second one is the Stash and Company Dialogue Fix. Occasionally, when you randomly encounter Stash, they might not engage in conversation with you, and you might not be able to initiate barter with them. This mod addresses that issue and allows you to trade with them. In this segment, we'll be introducing visual-related mods, and there are a few that I'd like to highlight. First up is the recently released Pilgrim Definitive Edition, ENB and Weather. Originally launched in 2022 under the name Pilgrim Dread the Commonwealth, this version has been remastered to support all DLCs. It aims to transform the world of Fallout 4 into a darker and more ominous setting using ENB and weather plugins, and it also includes the original Pilgrim music. To use this mod, you'll need the Kyloader for Fallout 4. 
Kyloader for Fallout 4 is a framework that allows for easy loading and management of various plugins. It serves the role of facilitating communication between F4SC and ENB for interoperability. Additionally, it provides centralized error handling, access to additional runtime information, and supports multi-DLL chaining loading. Famous for its use alongside ENB Extender in Skyrim, the ENB Extender is part of the Kyloader plugins, particularly known for extending ENB's capabilities. It encompasses various features, ranging from shader caching to DirectX compiler and shader GUI extensions. It even offers an updated GUI interface, enhancing and expanding the role of ENB. Users looking to improve and extend the capabilities of ENB should definitely consider giving it a try. In this segment, we will be introducing outfit-related mods, and there are a few that I'd like to highlight. First up is the MW2022 Shadow Company Outfit Pack. This mod adds characters from a different game called MW2022 to Fallout 4, specifically featuring outfits of the Special Forces unit known as the Shadow Company. The outfits and helmets are tactical in design, providing a sense of high protection with armored materials and linings. With a total of 15 different outfit variations, you have the fun of choosing and wearing various outfits. You can craft these outfits in the chem station under the MW2022 Shadow Company category. Next up is the Kite's Charred Vault Suit. While it's not a new outfit, I wanted to make sure to introduce it to you. This outfit adds a stylish, bikini-like feel that complements the vault world in a bolt-inspired design. The concept is based on a boiler suit charred by fire, with parts of the outfit intentionally burnt. You even have the option to detach the left arm. Overall, with the partial use of bolt suit textures, I believe it fits well with the atmosphere of Fallout 4. If you're enjoying Fallout 4, giving this outfit a try could be a great idea. Finally, let me introduce a mod related to construction. It's called Working Escalators. This mod allows you to build escalators that resemble the ones you'd see in real life. They even have functioning animations, automatically moving up and down. The creator recommends using it alongside mods like Place Everywhere. You can find it in the Structures Metal Prefabs category. If you like the idea of having escalators in your settlements, give it a try. And there you have it. The essential Fallout 4 mods to kickstart your November 2023 Wasteland adventures. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more mod recommendations. Until next time, stay safe out there, Vault Dwellers.